Hi all, welcome to my channel. Today we'll discuss about the basic blocks and flowchart. Okay. So here is my basic blocks flowchart. So this concept belongs to compiler design. Okay. So first we'll see the definition. So definition is a basic block is a sequence of consecutive statements in which flow of control enter at beginning and leaves at the end without any fault. So this is called as a basic block, sequence of consecutive statements, okay? In which the flow control enters at beginning and leaves at the without any fault. So this is called as basic block. Remember, ikada basic blocks always execute in sequential manner, okay? So sequential manner lo manamu basic blocks ne execute jesu namu. So ikada basic blocks flow chart algorithm ki manaki run rules nai first one rule one second one rule two so ikkada manaki rule one lo em antunnaru four statements nai so what is the first statement determine the leaders so first we need to determine the leaders okay second one the first statement is always leader okay next the target of conditional and conditional jump is leader. Fourth one, the statement which follows conditional and unconditional jump is a leader. Okay, so this is all about the rule one. My rule two I am determine the basic blocks. Okay, so in rule one we are finding the leaders. In rule two we are finding the basic blocks. So being beginning at a leader statement and ending at before leader. Now, with one example, I am showing basic blocks. Okay, okay. Example, dwara meko chhipe prayatnam jaisa no. So simple idhi. Just ekada ko example hunde. So total any statements na yanta man kikada. Ichi na program lo thirty statements na hi. Din lo manam basic blocks even identify chaila. Chudam chuande rule one lo determine the leader sannadu. Okay. We'll determine the leaders. Next one, what we have. Next statement, the statement, the first statement, underline this line, very, very, very important. What they mentioned, the first statement is always leader. Okay. So in the given, what is the first statement? In 1 to 13, first statement. So first statement, tick, tick, yes, so tick means this is a leader. Okay. Next one, the target of Conditional or unconditional jump is leader. So, each in the law, target of conditional and unconditional jump. So, conditional jump, unconditional jump is here, go to. Okay. So, the target another. So, if you see here, uh, in the ninth statement, if statement is there, so go to of five. So, this five is a leader. Why? What is the target of this conditional jump? So conditional here, uh, this one is if. So what is the target of this one? Five. So and the name no? five the gara tick jason. Okay. Next one. If statement again, J is less than uh, here. What we have? J is less than uh, this is a uh, actually it is eight. Okay. So the J is less than eight. So go to seven. So this seven is again a leader. Okay, the target of conditional and unconditional jump is leader. So, if one is conditional, but what is the target of if 5? And then 5 tick chase. If j is j less than 8, go to 7. 7 means 7 is also a leader. And then tick chase. So, now we will move on to rule 4. Uh, rule 1 of 4 statement. The following statement which follows the conditional unconditional jump is a leader okay so in the given 13 statements if statement this is a what we have conditional jump so now if statement the statement which follows conditional or unconditional so the statement which follows so here if you see ninth statement ninth statement is follows the which statement this is called as what we have 10th statement okay so the statement which follows another 
So if ni follow chase statement in and tenth one. That's why we mentioned tenth is also a leader. Okay. So next one. If j is less than eight, go to seven. So again, we will the statement which follows the thirteen. Okay. Now we find the leaders. Okay. So Malak sorry, determine the leaders. The first statement is always a leader. So in out of thirteen lines, always the first statement is leader. And can I know first statement tick JSM. The target of which conditional line unconditionally is leader. So here, if he is called as conditional and the target of this one is five, and can I five tick JSM. If is a J is not equal to eight, go to seven. Seven is also a leader. Okay. The statement which follows conditional jump, unconditional jump. And conditional tarvata unna statement kuda leader. So here if this is also a leader. So like this we can perform the leader. We can find the leader. Now we find the basic blocks. Okay. So you put manamo basic blocks ne find out chale. So good bet konde. What they mentioned beginning at the leader statement and ending before the statement. So here beginning at leader statement is this one. Okay. Beginning at the leader statement ending at here. Tarvata beginning at here, here ending at here. Beginning at here ending here. So starting nunchi ending point work key. Check yes, no, next leader start in the work. Next, you can start in the end in the okay. So, this is a again a leader. So, always you should give the down arrows, okay. Then, you know, basic blocks and item. So, this is B1, this is B2, this is B3, this is B4. It is B5. Okay. So finally, we conclude the diagram. So next, what I am doing here, just uh, I will give, draw the diagram here. Okay. Next one. So what we have here, first one is B1. Second one is B2. Third one is B3, fourth one is B4, and fifth one is B5. So this is a one basic block. It is a second basic block. It is third basic block, fourth basic block. This is a fifth basic block. So this is called as creation of basic blocks in compiler design. So I hope this is clear for everyone. If you have doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you one and all.